Hi there and welcome to 272analytics.com's tutorial on how to create correlated pairs in Stata. Now when we do so, we're doing so with the stipulation that these are random numbers that will possess a correlation structure that we impose on them. So in order to do so, the first thing we need to do is define a matrix. And here I'm just going to use the naming convention capital C for a matrix. And I'm going to create two variables here. So what I want, uh, just an X and a Y variable, and I would like the X and the Y variable to have an R of uh, 0.67. So the first thing I want to do is create that matrix and store it in Stata. And then the next thing I want to do is use the core to data command here, C-O-R-R -R to data, all one word, uh, to create two variables, X and Y. After the comma, I put N, 2000 to indicate that uh, I need my 2000 pairs and then I follow it with the command core C capital for the matrix that I predefined and just push enter. So now if we go into Stata we'll see that we did in fact create 2000 pairs of our randomly chosen X and Y variables and what we would like to see now is do they possess the correlation uh, coefficient? Is, is the R value equal to 0.67 for the correlation between X and Y, which is what we stipulated. When we create our correlation matrix, we see that yes, in fact, the R value here is 0.67. And if we look up here, we see that that's what we stipulated. And if we create the scatter plot, we can go ahead and see what that looks like visually uh, there. So if you can imagine, uh, uh, if you're doing, a, let's say, a follow-up regression, you can imagine a line of best fit uh, going right through there where my mouse is with a, with a confidence interval around that. Uh, now, once again, you have complete power over uh, the strength of the, uh, the R coefficient. Um, so I think it would be a good idea to demonstrate uh, another uh, correlation pair here with a different R value. So I'm going to use the clear command, first of all, to get rid of the observations that we have in memory. I'm going to create a new matrix. I'll call it C again. And this time I'd like to see the R value of the X and Y relationship to be a 0.9. I'm, I'm going to go ahead and create 2000 pairs again. And it's the same command structure uh, that we saw up here. First using the core to data command, uh, then creating my variables, naming them X and Y, stipulating that I want 2000 pairs and then entering the command core C at the end to invoke that matrix that's been defined. So let's go ahead and do all that. And as you see, we went ahead and created an R coefficient of 0.9 that holds between uh, X and Y as we just defined them. And I, I do want to point out in both models that the correlation is significant uh, at an alpha that's below 0 0.0001. Now you can do this for as many um, uh, as arbitrarily many values as you like. So I just did it for uh, two variables. I did a bivariate correlation, but you could have three, four, five, as many variables as you want. You would just have to expand your matrix here to accommodate the number of variables that you have. Uh, and I do want to do a quick scatter plot again to show you what our new uh, what our new random data look like. And as you can see, because we specified a coefficient of uh, an R of 0.9, which is very strong, very positive, we see that some of the scatter around the line of best fit here in the scatter plot has, has narrowed. And, you know, that's to be expected. If we went ahead and specified that our R was to be like, let's say 0.99 or something, you would see that almost all of the scatter would disappear. And it would be a very narrow band around the line of best fit here. I hope this tutorial was helpful to you and I would like to invite you to visit 272analytics.com for access to all our free statistics tutorials in Stata, SPSS, R, eViews, and Minitab. Here at 272analytics.com we provide data consulting primarily to graduate students. Therefore we work very closely with you in order to perfect your chapter 3 and chapter 4. That means helping you design surveys, uh, getting your data input, assisting you with fashioning appropriate research questions and hypotheses, uh, getting your data, extracting them, transforming them, cleaning them, uh, putting them through analysis, uh, interpreting them, explaining them to you so that at the end of the day, you know exactly what story your data tell, why they matter, what they mean in a manner that lets you write a, a perfect chapter four 
of following a perfect chapter three and lets you defend your dissertation or thesis with complete confidence. We provide ethical consulting. It's not a writing service, so you will be responsible for taking our blueprint, our assistance, our consulting, and transforming them into an appropriate academic project for yourself. I'd also like to remind you that we provide the same services to undergraduate students who are working with quantitatively oriented assignments. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.